Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with some RimWorld Biotech. And uh, just setting up a few more um, zones here for the base. Uh, kind of an inside zone, kind of a compound zone, and an animal zone. So uh, I installed a few mods. One varies the music a little bit. Um, I'll put the mods in the description. But uh, yeah, just a bit of variety with the music. And what was the other mod? Oh, the the other mod lets me go four times speed, which lets me kind of get through nights and stuff faster, or if there's not much going on. So here's the inside. This is for if there's a toxic fallout or I need to keep the ponds indoors. Now I decided to edit this episode down a bit. Just, um, it's about two and a half hours of footage edited down to 30 some odd minutes. Because there's a lot of kind of dead time where there's not much going on, just waiting for things to happen. So I captured most of the, the raids and the battles, as well as all the building that I do. And there's some uh, there's some unfortunate events that happen, but uh, that's RimWorld for you. Can't have uh, good without the bad. So this is kind of my, this is where I want some of the bots to go, but not all the bots. I'm going to wall in this kind of big square that I'm in. And we're trying to recruit a prisoner here. Some kind of wolf man. There's a bunch of wolf men around that uh, we get raided by and whatnot. Okay, we got a mad dromedary coming in. I think we should be able to tackle him. Still trying to recruit more people. Even though we're controlling bots, I, I want to be able to recruit more. And maybe even try the, the, the baby thing out. Okay, here it comes. Pretty tanky. We've got a, a nice blood field out there. Should probably clean that up. Now the new shelving in the game Let's you stack items three high, so we can increase the density of the storage in this uh, freezer quite a bit. But the um, the toxic junk it does not it does not uh, go on the shelves unfortunately, and it only stacks five high. So that's kind of the down the one of the big downsides of having the um, the mecha mechanoids under your control. It cr creates a lot of toxic waste. Which is fine if you can freeze it, but eventually you'll run out of room. Here's the food stacked up. So pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. And you can link the shelves together to control the storage. I keep waffling in terms of whether I want to keep the toxic waste in the freezer or not. And we keep getting the, these waste pack dump quests where they want to dump 90 garbage on us for a reward. I keep saying no. They don't get the point. <laughs> okay, here comes a raid. A lone raider versus uh, two of us. Pretty tough though. Some of these animal hybrids in the new DLC are quite tough, like the pigmen and the wolfmen. But he brought us a doobie. <laughs> nice. Okay, we finished uh, drug production. I'm actually going to do a few things before I actually do medicine, though. We're going to probably do, let's see here, probably do smithing. I want to get to mortars and turrets pretty early. Because if we get a if we get a sapper raid or a mortar raid, I want to be ready for that. Next raid here, uh, there was a guy kind of traveling through, and that raider attacked him. That's what was going on there. But luckily, there's a, one shot. One one shot. I don't think it was even a headshot. 
It went right between his eyes. Okay, here's the north wall I'm putting in. I want all the enemies to come around to, uh, kind of to the east. Mad emu. I find the mad animals sometimes tougher than the raiders, actually. They can be pretty ruthless. And they'll, um, they'll keep attacking until you're dead. Whereas raiders, if they down you, they'll just ignore you after you're downed. As I'm sure all you veteran players know. The little the little combat robots are not very strong. They can only take a couple hits before they're gone. So you gotta keep them out of the way. But we're later in the series we're gonna get um, the bigger mechanoids unlocked. Hopefully. Assuming we can survive. See so it took it took four Four of us to take this emu down. Now, unfortunately, I didn't settle near the equator. I picked the desert on purpose just to have a little bit more uh, challenge than kind of the forest. And I played in the forest a lot, all the different forests. I kind of avoid the jungle because there's diseases, but I think I might do a vampire playthrough in the jungle. Because vampires can't die. Well, they don't die the normal way. And they can't get sick either, I don't think. But you need to keep feeding them blood. I actually can't wait to play, to do a vampire playthrough. Maybe we'll be get lucky and get a vampire on this playthrough. But I don't think it'll happen. By the way, I switched over to Randy Random. Either this episode or last, I can't remember which. Just to spice it up a bit. Okay, we just recruited a new... A new pawn here. And we're putting in kind of the east wall now. And I know it doesn't quite line up. But, uh... That's okay. We'll probably double up the walls at some point. And I think I'll do something like a killing hallway. Not a kill box, but a killing hallway near the entrance of the base. The base has kind of got a funny shape going on. Okay, we need more power. I keep running out of power, so I'm going to put another wind turbine in here. And the traders left as a gift. Nice. Food becomes a bit of an issue in the uh, freezing winter in the desert. Which you'll see a uh, moment pretty soon, actually. Smithing. Yeah, near the, the end of the, the end of this episode is a bit of a there's a little bit of drama. Okay, we'll do machining next. But I'm gonna get um, geothermal geothermal power soon because that's we have two vents inside our compound, and that'll help quite a bit. We won't have to worry about power for a while. Okay, just finishing off the wall here. So we're gonna force them to come in those three little openings, and that gives us some cover. Now, tunnelers still could get in from any other side, so I'll probably want to set up some defensive areas. One of my little robots went to sleep down there. We're going to have to go rescue him. But before that, we're going to put in some nice wood flooring. Spice up those little teeny-weeny bedrooms a little bit. And the freezer is jam-packed, <laughs> as you can see. And winter has arrived. Actually, it's still fall, but everything's starting to freeze. And I don't have a whole lot of food in the fridge, to be honest. 
It looks like a lot, but it goes pretty fast. Ooh, the ancient danger. What mysteries are inside? I will find out later. <laughs> when I'm tougher. Just drilling through that uh, metal meteorite that we got. What do we get with gunsmithing? The bolt action rifle will be nice. I do like this music mod. It's pretty nice. Pretty good variety. I don't think they normalize the uh, volume levels though, so it gets a little bit loud in some sometimes. Ooh, it was bound to happen. Lovers unite. Okay, we gotta build them a double bed so they can make babies in the night. Do we have enough wood for a wood bed? I think so. Okay, there goes the plants. They're all dying. Let's get the lovers together in their beds, and then we can put these single beds away. And maybe crack open this bedroom so it's one big... Not big, but bigger bedroom. I know bedrooms can technically be two by one tiles, but uh, that's a little bit cramped. Uh oh, what do we got here? Hogmen. Two hogs with guns and grenades. Hmm. And a mad emu. <laughs> Just to spice things up a little. Okay, the emu's over there. That should be, uh,. He'll probably make its way around though. Okay, let's get everyone set up. Yeah, the emu's probably gonna come back around. Let me know if you're uh, enjoying these uh, edited versions. I think they're a little bit paced better for RimWorld. Just because there, there is a lot of waiting. Especially when you've got a small colony. When you got a bigger colony, there's a lot more going on. Okay, the emu has arrived <laughs> to distract us from the raid. Oh no, don't get the robot. Poor little guy. They really can't take any damage. Okay. Animal down, raid to go. There might be a, a day or two of no videos after this one. Because I'm uh, out of town. Probably just one day. But the series will continue. Grenade pig! Out of the way! <laughs> well, it's gonna blow up our wall. And our trap. Crap. Trap crap. These pigs are pretty damn tough, actually. They can take a beating. It's their thick pig skin. Okay, another grenade's gonna come, I think. Out of the way! Oh. Out of the way! Okay, one's down. Left us some drugs and some uh, nutriamine, which we can use for uh, medicine, I think. The unfortunate thing with this wall setup is it gives them cover as well. But I'll fix that with uh, with my tunnel of pain that I build later. 
Wow, that pig's taken a lot of shots. <laughs> Holy crap. Resilient. Resilient hog. Time for a barbecue. Okay, actually, he's got really good mining. And we really need a miner. His name is Plug. I think we're going to capture him. He's probably almost dead, though. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's bleeding out profusely. We'll get him uh, in here, make this prisoner room. And we got some beds in storage. We can put a bed up here for our colonist. And let them sleep in the workroom for a few nights. Now, I could repair him right on the ground there, but think he'll make it to the room so we can patch him up patch up plug 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 with some holes how many bullet holes did he have in him who knows many many let's recruit him okay let's re-establish our little defensive line here. And why is he sleeping on the ground? He should be sleeping in his bed. I like this song. This is one of the new songs. Okay, the smoke leaf. We're going to turn it into joints so we can sell them for some cash. Uh oh, infection. Infection's never good. Wow, look at all those injuries. <laughs> okay, immunity. As long as we can keep up with the treatments, he should make it. I'm not doing any caravan kind of raids anytime soon. Okay, here goes the Tunnel of Pain. We'll leave it open so they can... so this is the easiest way to path in, but we'll put a bunch of traps in here. And barricades. And then they'll be forced to kind of go around a corner and get, uh, if they make it to the traps, <laughs> they'll come around the corner and they'll get, uh, hopefully chewed up by us. Okay, we're going to put in an, another kind of a weird shaped bedroom in here. I think this will, these will be hallways later, but for now they're going to be bedrooms. We're just kind of we're going to organically grow the base outwards. Like a flower. Like a bacterium, I don't know, like something that grows. Here's our wealth, growing. I don't want to grow too fast. <laughs> I don't want any more wealth than uh, than I need. Because uh, it causes um, tougher raids. Okay, I'm gonna pause gunsmithing and go for geothermal because I have a feeling we're gonna run out of food here. Nice fire. Okay. Uh oh, that bed is very, very flammable. Wooden beds are more comfortable. Oh, we lost the bed. Wooden beds are more comfortable, but they're very flammable. But we have a spare, so we'll get that right back in there. Presto change our prisoner room again. Okay, the little status bars on the bot rechargers 
I wasn't quite sure what those are, but they're they're the waste accumulating in it. Okay, we were, we 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 were able to recruit plug, but we got another raid coming in, so just in time. But here's the new kill hallway. Let's see how it performs. Dead, and they're fleeing. Okay, we didn't even have to fire shot. Very nice. And they left us some jade. Nice. Okay, we got a mad boomalope and a party at the same time. That's Randy Random for you. Okay, I don't want that boomalope dying in, in there or it's going to destroy a bunch of our stuff. So we better go f fish him out of there. Where is that animal thing? We want an animal sleeping spot so we can rescue him and put him somewhere else where he won't catch anything on fire. Maybe right there. Okay, this is um, this is gonna be hot potato because if this thing blows up in my arms while we're delivering it, it'll be very painful. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. <laughs> okay, clear of the blast area. Yeah, he only had a few seconds left. And he's dead. On, and on fire. <laughs> and he left a mess. Skipping ahead here. We got another raid. Three of them. The three um, wolfmen. It's the Scooby-Doo gang. And one just died in our traps. <laughs> They're all juiced up on drugs. Dogs with drugs. Dog men, wolf men with drugs. Uh oh, our little bots are in the way. Get out of there, little bots. Now the non-combat bots do have a little tiny gun, but they're basically useless. Okay, two wolfmen died in the traps. Oh, glory days. Get those graves built. We're building a collection of bodies. I, get, I better put a crematorium in near the kill hallway. Save that for a later project. Okay, since we're running out of food, I decided to put in a indoor grow room. Even though we don't quite have the power for it. Because the grow lamp is like 2900 watts or something crazy. Get some power lines in there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna quickly build around the thing. And we don't really need the corners. But we do need a heater, because it's freezing out there. And we'll start planning as soon as possible here. Okay, two of your pawns, two of your colonists have the plague. The plague is not good. I'll tell you that much. Okay, we got the roof on. Could probably turn the light on. And I built it beside the geothermal so we could use the, th the heat from the geothermal next winter. Okay, we are... How much food do we have? We have no food. So we're going to go after this. The only animal left on the map was one boomalope. So that's going to feed us until the rice comes in. Hopefully, if not, we're all going to die of starvation.
Talk about a cliffhanger. Will we survive on the one boomalope? Okay, make some make some meals quickly. Low food. Okay, we should be able to get like three or four meals out of this. How's that rice? How's that rice coming along? It's resting. Medical emergency! That's probably the plague. Uh, he's a goner. <laughs> There's no way we're going to heal that up in time. We will prepare him for the burial. He's dead. Unfortunately, we lost one of the precious colonists. Let us bury him among the fields of food. Frozen food. Okay, minus three on the mood and a solar flare. Nice. Randy Random's being kind to us. Hopefully that rice doesn't freeze or we're going to be in trouble here. The temperature outdoors is still frozen. It is technically spring now, but it's still frozen outdoors. And we're back to low food and starvation. Will we make it? Will the rice come in in time? Yes, barely. <laughs> Premature rice cutting to keep people alive. Another medical emergency. And a flash storm just to kick us in the nuts while we're down. Okay, it's over. That wasn't too bad. Okay, we managed to survive the famine. And the temperatures outside should be warming up here. Oh, at least we have this indoor grow room for next winter in case things get uh, spicy again. But I think I'll grow extra food outdoors. Uh, and we'll take the roof off this thing during this spring and summer. Oh, one more raid. More pigmen. I like this song, but it's pretty loud. Okay, one pig died in the trap, and another pig died. Those steel traps are really quite devastating. Got some good goodies from them. Get them stacked away in their resting place. Now, I'm going to extend the storage room a little bit here. right up against the edge of the uh, wind turbines. Give us a little bit more freezer space and a little bit more storage space. And time for the geothermal. I have the power. A lot of it. Now we're gonna seal it in a room for now. But in the winter, I might open the door, open a wall, so that it can keep our grow room warm without having to use a heater. That's the reason I'm putting a wall around it, if you're curious. It's also, it also tends to be a target from raiders sometimes, so a little wall of protection doesn't hurt. 
Okay, we're gonna take these walls out, extend the freezer. Lovely. That going. Maybe put some more storage shelves in there. And we'll extend that uh, storage room as well in a sec here. Nice. Not as cramped. And the storage shelves by default they allow all, so probably best to link them all together and then set the settings for the whole linked shelf. This was a nice addition to the game, the shelves. Tree sewing would be good, because we're kind of really lacking on the wood situation. But we'll continue on with gunsmithing, because we're trying to get to mortars and turrets. And then we'll think about getting towards the uh, improved mechs. So we can really get this uh, DLC underway. Yeah, remove the roof on this thing so that the hot air can get out for now. A few more shelves in the freezer. You can see the linked shelves on the bottom of the storage room there. They're all kind of highlighted yellow. Finally, it's warm outside, so we're growing outdoors again. Okay, there's always one more raid. Who let the dogs out? Three dog men. Maybe we'll get into the genetic stuff with this playthrough. I think we'll be able to actually. We already have some, we have a wolf and a pig in our uh, colony already, so. Here they come. They can bark at us. Yeah, I need to build some fortifications right where my guys are. Eat traps, wolfmen. And they're out of there. I didn't even have to set up. <laughs> okay, we're going to get a crematorium here. Right by the uh, kill hallway. And I'll put that in a little room later. So that we can burn those bodies instead of burying them. And we can burn all the crappy clothing in there as well. I'm probably going to change the traps over to something like granite, which is a little bit more plentiful than the steel. Okay, emu. Eat traps. There you go. <laughs> Randy likes to send emus along with the raids, it seems like. Now, I researched Devil Strand, so I'm going to grow a bunch of that. We can make clothing out of that, and it's pretty pretty good material. It takes a long time to grow. Hopefully, we can get it all grown in this cycle. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to wrap things up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you like these kind of games. Nice zoomed out view there. On the rim. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.